I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about Huprazine A, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Huprazine A is a water-soluble natural plant alkaloid nootropic that easily crosses a blood-brain barrier. It's derived from the Chinese club moss, Huperzia serrata. This plant is native to Southeast Asia where it's been used in traditional medicine for thousands of years. Huprazine A has a strong inhibitory effect on acetylcholinesterase. This S enzyme is responsible for degrading the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So boosting levels of acetylcholine transmission in your brain improves memory and attention and promotes greater neuroplasticity, which is necessary for long-term memory formation and general brain health. Huprazine A is also an NMDA receptor antagonist. This glutamate receptor's job is to control synaptic plasticity and memory function, which is a positive thing. But blocking this function can also be effective at times, preventing damage from too much glutamate and blocking toxicity from certain nerve agents. The combination of boosting acetylcholine and blocking NMDA receptors requires a fine balance and could explain why it's beneficial to cycle the use of Huprazine A, but more about that in a minute. You need to maintain the delicate balance of neurochemistry in the brain while realizing Huprazine A's benefits. Huprazine A is produced in the lab from Huperzia serrata, or Chinese club moss. Huprazine A is a standardized compound that's found in, natu in this naturally occurring plant. Now note that Huprazine A and Huprazine serrata is not the same supplement. Some nootropic supplement stacks substitute genuine Huprazine A with Huperzia serrata. And the research I've seen uses Huprazine A in their trials and not Huperzia serrata. So look for nootropic stacks with genuine Huperzine A on the label or sold as a standalone supplement. And avoid stacks or supplements called Huperzine serrata or Huperzia serrata. Huperzine A works primarily two ways in the brain. First, huprazine A acts as an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. This is the enzyme that breaks down the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So huprazine A helps prevent this breakdown, allowing more acetylcholine to be available, which improves memory and learning. Scientists at the Wiseman Institute in Israel uncovered how huprazine A works to block acetylcholinesterase. They made a 3D image of the structure of the acetylcholinesterase molecule and found a deep chasm called the active site gorge. The scientists found this active site gorge acts like a guide to funnel acetylcholine into the interior of the enzyme where it's cut apart prior to recycling. This is how acetylcholinesterase blocks acetylcholine. The study revealed that huprazine A has a unique ability to lock into this active site gorge, like a key into a lock, and appears to bind more tightly and specifically to acetylcholinesterase than other acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. This ability for huprazine A to take acetylcholine's place within the acetylcholinesterase enzyme is how more acetylcholine is made available in the brain. Professor Joel Sussman said, it's as if this natural sub substance were ingeniously designed to fit into the exact spot 
in acetylcholinesterase where it'll do the most good. And the second way is huprazine A plays a neuroprotective role. Researchers discover that huprazine A prevents glutamate-induced toxicity, protecting the hippocampus and other cerebral neurons from cell death caused by the amino acid glutamate. In addition to protection from glutamate-induced toxicity, huprazine A also promotes new dendrite growth in neurons. Huprazine A boosts acetylcholine. It boosts levels of the available acetylcholine in the brain by blocking the effect of the enzyme acetylcholinesterase. Acetylcholine is critical for encoding new memories, reasoning, concentration, cognition, and neuroplasticity. Not enough acetylcholine can result in diseases like ADHD, Alzheimer's, and other neurodegenerative diseases. Huprazine A's benefit as a nootropic can boost short-term mental performance, like attention and memory, and even helping your brain for long-term brain health. And then huprazine A is an antioxidant. It supports brain cell mitochondria, the, the main energy centers in each cell. It reduces free radical damage by acting as an antioxidant. Free radicals degrade mitochondria and their function. Studies have shown that huprazine A enhances the activities of other antioxidant enzymes as well. And then huprazine A resists beta amyloid dysfunction. Huprazine A boosts neuron resistance to beta amyloid induced dysfunction that could lead to diseases like Alzheimer's. Beta amyloid affects ATP levels in mitochondria. Huprazine A protects against this damage. And huprazine A prevents glutamate toxicity. Huprazine A protects brain cells from this glutamate toxicity. Too much of this neurotransmitter glutamate has been associated with brain cell degeneration and other cognitive dysfunction and behavior. Huprazine A seems to slow down this glutamate toxicity at least partly by acting as an NMDA receptor antagonist. And huprazine A increases nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor is critical in brain cell development, maintenance, and repair. Declines in nerve growth factor levels in the brain are associated with Alzheimer's and other diseases. Studies show huprazine A not only prevents this drop in nerve growth factor from happening, it actually helps to boost the production of nerve growth factor. Neutropic users report huprazine A provides a boost in mental energy without the side effects normally associated with stimulants. Improved cognition and thinking are common when using huprazine A. Many report, report a boost in short-term memory and recall is better in the long term. Some with Alzheimer's report the progression of the disease slows down instead of advancing. You should be able to experience the effects of huprazine A soon after you take it. It's water soluble, so it's digested and enters your cells quickly. But one thing to note is huprazine A has a long half life. In other words, it does not leave your system nearly as quickly as most other nootropics. So many neurohackers restrict their use of huprazine A to a couple of times per week. And I'll talk about more of that, about that in a minute. Huprazine A is most known for boosting acetylcholine in the brain. Efficient acetylcholine neurotransmission is critical for learning, memory, and attention. Reduced levels of acetylcholine are associated with declines in cognition and memory and are in implicated in several neurodegenerative diseases including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, and others. Huprazine A supplementation helps even those with no signs of brain disease. It can enhance attention and memory in most looking just to boost cognition. Now, this first study is pretty incredible. Huprazine A provides protection in chemical warfare. 
So if you ever find yourself in a war zone, and I truly hope you don't, but if you do, you might want to stock up on Huprazine A. Researchers at Walter, Walter Reed Army Institute of Research in Washington, D.C. are investigating Huprazine A's potential as a pretreatment to protect soldiers against chemical warfare and nerve agent poisoning. One of the studies conducted at Walter Reed looked at Huprazine A's protective potential. Scientists found that Huprazine A to be, was twice as effective in protecting against the lethal effects of nerve agent Soman as the leading drug in that area of medicine called physostigmine. Huprazine A's effects lasted for six hours compared to only about 90 minutes for the drug. And we've got another study about how Huprazine A improves learning and memory. This study is verification that using Huprazine A as a nootropic is, is good at any age. Researchers in China selected 68 students who complained of bad memory. And their learning performance was getting worse in school. In this double-blind placebo-controlled trial, study, students were given either 100 micrograms of Huprazine A or a placebo for, uh, it was four weeks. At the conclusion of the trial, researchers found that the students using Huprazine A scored higher on memory testing than those who took the placebo. And then Huprazine A improves cognition. Most of the research on Huprazine A has been done in China. And many of the studies have been done in patients suffering from neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. One study in Shanghai worked with 200 patients who met the criteria of having Alzheimer's disease. Researchers gave one group of patients 300 to 500 micrograms of Huprazine A daily for 8 to 24 weeks, and the other group got a placebo. The results of the study show that Huprazine A's effects uh, increased over time. The patients that used Huprazine A showed significant improvements in cognition, orientation, attention, memory, mood, and behavior. Recommended Huprazine A dosage is 50 to 200 micrograms per day. Huprazine A is water soluble so you don't need to take it with a meal or a healthy fat like some nootropics. Huprazine A is typically sold as 50, 100, or 200 microgram tablets or capsules. Several retail nootropic stacks often include Huprazine A in their formula, so you should not supplement with more Huprazine A while using these pre-made stacks. Since Huprazine A has at least a 24-hour half-life, most neurohackers prefer cycling. This means using Huprazine A every second day, or even only twice a week. Huprazine A is also available as an injection for, th uh, for therapeutic purposes, typically used to treat diseases like Alzheimer's, or the muscle weakness condition called uh, myasthenia gravis. Huprazine A can be toxic if dosed in larger than recommended quantities, or if you already have too much acetylcholine in your system. Because remember, Huprazine A boosts levels of acetylcholine. Some effect, side effects with Huprazine A are rare, but they, include, they can include symptoms similar to choline overload, like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, insomnia, anxiety, dizziness, thirst, and constipation. Now, very rarely will Huprazine A cause cardiac arrhythmia. Symptoms of acute toxicity are similar to those of other cholinergic inhibitors and can include muscle tremors, drooling, tears, bronchial mucus, and incontinence. Do not use Huprazine A for dealing with epilepsy. And if you have heart disease, use Huprazine A with caution. It can slow heart rate. Huprazine A may make asthma and emphysema worse because it can cause mucus in the lungs. The same goes for those dealing with urinary tract or reproductive system blockages. 
it can cause mucus buildup as well. An important note for Alzheimer's patients, Hoprazine A can increase the effects of drugs you may already be taking, so talk to your doctor before trying Hoprazine A. Hoprazine A is sold in tablet or capsule form. Tablets and capsules are usually 50 to 200 micrograms each. Some ready-made nootropic stacks include Hooperzine A in their formula. Hooperzia serrata is simply raw powdered Chinese club moss and should be avoided. It's not standardized, so you don't know how much of it that you're getting. And it's not the same thing as Hooperzine A. So my nootropics expert recommendation for Hooperzine A is 200 micrograms per day. And make sure you cycle it. Only use it every second day or even twice a week. You shouldn't be using it every day. And that's my report on Hooperzine A. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Hooperzine A. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using Hooperzine A, go to my article on nootropicsexpert.com and leave it in the comment section at the bottom of the article. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.